Hello everyone, welcome back to Alisa's Lifestyle Vlog. I am so excited to discuss to you our topic for today, which is about J-1 visa to green card application process. I know many of you are curious on how we can change our J-1 visa to permanent residency. So the big question is, is it possible? Well, the answer is yes. So before we proceed, please watch this. So if you are interested to know how to change your J-1 visa to green card or permanent residency, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Before going into details, let us first define the following terms. First, what is a J-1 visa? Always remember that the J-1 visa has a two years home residency requirement. It is a non-immigrant visa and you are expected to return back to your home country after your program ends. Now let's talk about H-1B visa. What is an H-1B visa? H-1B visa is also a non-immigrant visa, just like the J-1, but it has a dual intent, which means that you have a chance to change your H-1B visa to permanent residency and as long as there is a petition from an employer. Most people cannot change their J-1 visa to green card immediately because they still need to have an H-1B visa before they can apply for a green card. The only way that you can change your J-1 visa to green card is to marry a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. Now let's talk about green card or the permanent resident card. What is a green card? Once you are a green card holder for at least five years, then you can apply for U.S. citizenship. Now that we know the basic information about the J-1 visa, H-1B visa, and the green card, let us now talk on how we can convert your J-1 visa to H-1B or a green card. By the way, most J-1 visa holders have two-year home residency requirement. You can find it in your visa stamp or your DS-2019. You can check it out because the good news is not all J-1 visa holders are required to go home for two years. So you need to check it. If you don't have the 212E, well, there is no problem in changing your visa. But if you have, please keep on watching. I will mention to you the two possible ways to change your J-1 visa to H-1B or green card. There may be other ways for you to change your J-1 visa, but these two possible ways that I'm going to mention are the most common and the easiest to do in order for you to start your adjustment of status application process. First, you can change your J-1 visa to green card or permanent residency if you marry a U.S. citizen or a U.S. permanent resident. The second possible way is if you have a U.S. citizen child that is living in the United States. So you cannot change your J-1 visa to green card if you have a U.S. citizen child because a child cannot petition a parent unless she or he will turn 21 years of age. That is the legal age here in the USA for a child to petition a parent or a family member. And the only way that you can change your J-1 visa to H-1B visa is through an employer's petition. Once you're an H-1B visa holder, you now have the chance to change your H-1B visa to green card. 
In order to do that, you are still required to have an employer's petition. You might want to ask, are there other ways for me to stay in the USA and change my J-1 visa aside from having a U.S. citizen spouse or a U.S. citizen child? The answer is yes, there are other ways and I'm going to tell you about it. Are you working on a project or employed by a U.S. federal government agency? If so, the agency may request an interested government agency waiver on your behalf. Second, do you believe that you will be persecuted based on your race, religion, and political opinion when you return to your home country? If so, you may apply for a persecution waiver. Third, are you a foreign medical graduate who obtained exchange visitor status to pursue graduate medical training or education? If so, you may request based on the request of a designated state public health department or its equivalent. Now that we discussed the eligibility requirements, let us now talk about the application process. First question, do I need to go home in order to process the adjustment of status? The answer is no. You can process the adjustment of status or the change of visa here in the United States. Before you can start your application process to change your J-1 visa to H-1B or a green card, you still need to acquire a J-1 waiver. As I mentioned, a J-1 visa holder is required to go home for two years because this is a two years home residency requirement. This is part of the program that allows individuals who come to the USA to return back to their home country to share the knowledge and expertise they have acquired while working and exchanging culture here in the USA. And this two years home residency requirement can only be waived if you have a J-1 waiver. So for the second part of this video, I will be sharing to you the complete application process and requirements to get a J-1 waiver. So don't forget to check out my next video. I will put the link in the description box. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, keep safe.